Your friendly neighborhood YouTuber is rated PG-13. Parental advisory, explicit content, viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's up everyone? Here we go again, guys! It's your friendly neighborhood YouTuber. We are back at it again with another Predator review. Okay guys, as you know, um, if you've been watching my channel, you know I've been doing a lot of Predator and Alien uh, reviews simply because I've been building up my Predator and Alien collection, man. Um, if you guys didn't uh, see one of my previous videos, I did a huge Predator Alien uh, haul, and this guy was in the haul. This gentlemen right here here's the uh, artwork on the back we'll take a look at that in a minute but this guy right here is the ahab predator the ultimate edition ahab predator uh this was a figure that i got in a uh, a lot um so when i got him i wasn't really uh intrigued but i'm going to review him because he does look promising. He does have a messed up, jacked up face, man. But the mask, I do like the mask uh, that he has. I think it looks like some predator, uh, some alien claws right there on his mask that may have took uh, the eye of this Ahab predator. Uh, there's no read up on this gentleman here. Uh, but here is the back. Uh, 30 points of articulation, fabric cape, engineer trophy skull engineer gun uh swappable gauntlets and uh yeah i don't um engineer gun is this so is this based on no it can't, it can't be based on uh prometheus the movie prometheus because the predators were not in that movie the al alien the aliens were but that was towards the end so, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely intrigued with this Predator, guys. Let's pop this open. Let's quit wasting time. Let's pop this open and see what this uh, Predator is all about. And I hope you guys have uh, been enjoying my Predator and, and uh, Alien reviews, man, because I really like Predator and I really like uh, Alien. And uh, it, it takes me back, man. I mean, you know, I remember seeing, uh, if I can share a quick story with you guys. Look at that spear. Damn, it's a big-ass spear. Uh, I remember uh, when I was younger, I remember seeing The Predator uh, for the first time. It's just an awesome movie, man. It's it's the perfect movie, perfect action movie. It was well-written, well-acted, well-done, well-shot, well-directed. Uh, the only gripe that I have about the, that the fir very first Predator movie was Schwarzenegger is that the special effects don't really hold up that well. I mean, they're not bad, uh, but they're not good, though. But with that being said, I still think the first Predator movie is the best Predator movie ever. And then Predator 2 comes into a, a close second. And then after that, Predator franchise really wasn't never the same. I don't want to say it went downhill, but... It went downhill. <laughs> not the, not to say that I didn't really uh, care for the Predator movies, but they just weren't as good. You know what I mean? Okay, so let's take this Ahab Predator out. And yeah, I remember seeing the very first Predator movie when I was young, and I was just captivated by it. And it's and it's awesome, you know, watching it now as an adult. And it's one of the few movies from my childhood that still holds up. Well, that and, and the original Terminator 2. I mean, the special effects don't hold up either in that movie. But uh, nonetheless, uh, they are uh, classic, classic movies. And I guess they would be considered horror movies. Um, so, okay, so let's take a look at this Ahab Predator. His dreads are a little bit different, guys. Um, he's got different dreads. The face sculpt is horrible on this Predator. Uh, he's missing a tusk right here. He's Well, he's missing the eye as well. I like his bone necklace. I like the claws. I like the arms. I like everything that's going on 
with this predator figure and then stay tuned towards the end guys of course you know i'm going to do some comparisons with him and some other predators so before we check out the articulation and go into further detail let's check out the accessories in which he came with so he came with a face mask uh his uh, shoulder cannon uh his for his arm right here uh the Spears that we're all known accustomed to for the predator of having. Then he has his, uh, I guess, was it the gauntlet? Was that the gauntlet that they were talking about? And then he has interchangeable hands where he can hold his weapon. So let's take these out. And then after that, we'll do a comparison of some other predators. I'll show you the detail. And I just repeated myself over again. Okay, ladies and gents. Uh, so I installed his, uh, his spears onto his arm and this, uh, this is a little bit different because he has the three blades right here, kind of like a Wolverine and it pops out very easily. Um, let's see if I can pop that back in there and I'm trying to get it clipped in there to where it won't pop out. So, let's see. Well, that'll, that'll have to do for now. All right, and as you guys can see, I installed the cannon right there, the shoulder cannon, his signature shoulder cannon. And this right here, he can hold this right here if you want him to, but I don't want him to. And then, like I said, I changed out his hand right here, so now he can hold his spear. And this spear is very, very flimsy, man. It's not going to last, dude. <laughs> I just know it's not going to last. It's a really, really nice spear, though. Um, but it's very, very flimsy, and it feels like it's going to break, dude. So let's check out his articulation. So the arms, he's got very, very good uh uh, articulation in his elbow his hand can go all the way up to his eye like oh my eye I gotta scratch my eye my eyes itchy because I have no eye um, typical predator articulation he does have the double jointed knees <laughs> just <laughs> I've always been amazed by the predator just predators feet man because he's always had some weird big awkward feet so there's that I really, really like this uh, Ahab Predator, man. It's a different take on him. And here is this mask right here. Very detailed mask. And then there's the inside. The red eyes, of course. Uh, there is some red there, but you probably can't see it. Let's see how well this mask goes on to here. Um, let's see. How well will it stay? Yeah, yeah, it stays on there nicely. Yeah, and he looks much better masked. <laughs> you cover out that ugly face, man. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Ahab Predator, but yeah, man, your face just is, just ain't working, dude. Um, I like this Ahab Predator, man. He's very well detailed. I do like the mask of this Ahab Predator. I do like the these claw marks right here. It's really... It's a classic looking predator, but at the same time, it's different. You know what I mean? So, and as you guys can see there off to the side, the other predators uh, we'll do a little bit of a comparison with. So let's move this off to the side and I'll give you guys a better close up look of this Ahab predator, a better detailed look at this masterpiece. And I like, and I like the red cape. The red cape kind of gives off a really cool vibe. You know what I mean? You don't see predators with red capes. He's the super predator. And the dreadlocks too. So here is the... I forget the name of this predator. Every time I bring him out, I always forget the name of him. But he's from the Alien vs. Predator. And here's how his dreadlocks match up. See, he doesn't have these right here. So his his dreads are a little bit more smoother. He doesn't have the clips right here. 
but he just has this one clip right here, this skull for the back. I want to see a predator with a mullet. <laughs> right? Give me a predator with a mullet. That would that'll look awesome. And you can see the size difference. This, this predator right here is one of my... This is the Temple Guard Predator, from what I can remember. And he's from the Alien. He's based on the Alien vs. Predator movie. The figures were the only bet, the, uh, the good thing that came out of that movie. It, it wasn't a bad movie, but the action figures were definitely awesome. And you see the size comparison to, to these Alien vs. Predator figures were freaking huge, man. The actors in these suits, they were freaking huge. So there is the Ahab Predator, and then here is the Fugitive Predator. And the Fugitive Predators, too, they were huge in the movie as well. And this is how they stand up. This is the Fugitive Predator with the Ahab Predator. Dope. And I glued these blades into his into his uh, his forearm uh, guards, whatever you want to call it. And I love this Fugitive Predator, man. I, I really think he's one of the best Predators ever made, in my opinion. And just for the hell of it, being that we got these out here. Yeah, this is how they measure up right here. The Fugitive Predator and the Temple Guard Predator. And as you can see, the Temple Guard Predator has these huge, big, long blades. So these are the one blades. The Fugitive Predator... Uh, oh, that's, excuse me. The Temple Guard Predator has the huge, long blades, which are freaking awesome. The Fugitive Predator has the double blades. And then you have the Ahab Predator, which has the triple blades. But I like the overall look of this Predator, man. He's very classic looking, but yet it's it's just a different take on, on the Predator. You know what I mean? I mean, I don't think I've ever come across a bad Predator. So, NECA, NECA knows how to make Predator figures like McDonald's knows how to make cheeseburgers, man. Or... McDonald's food, I don't know. I, I don't know. If you like their cheeseburgers, whatever. Or how about this? NECA knows how to make Predator figures like Popeye's Chicken knows how to make chicken sandwiches. <laughs> Even though I've had their chicken sandwiches and I don't I don't get it, dude. It's, a, it's just a fucking chicken sandwich, man. So, and I like the back too. He kind of has like this uh, uh, fur on his back and on the sides. It's it's different, you know what I mean? Like, he's hunted this animal, and he's wearing his fur. The overall detail is just immaculate. There's just no other way to explain it, guys. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and rate this Predator figure. I really like him, man. I think he's awesome. I like his staff blade. I like this triple blade right here. I like his cape. I like the helmets. I really like this Predator figure. Okay, guys, on a scale of 1 to 10, with 10 being the highest, I am going to be very generous, guys, and I'm going to give this guy... I'll give him an 8.5. He's not exactly a 9, and he's better than an 8. So I'm going to have to give him like an 8.5. What do you guys think? Do you guys own this uh, Predator? This Ahab Predator? I think he's really, really awesome, man. Um, I know he's been out for a while. There's been hundreds of reviews done of him. And oddly enough, I never watch any of those reviews, guys, on this on this Predator. So he he's kind of new to me. And I, I usually I watch reviews of when I buy a figure. But like I said, this guy came in a lot and I wasn't really interested in buying him. So, yeah, if you guys stuck around and watched the review of this Predator, I just want to say thanks. But yeah, I give him a solid eight and a half, man. I think he's worth it. I love he he's different, you know what I mean? He stands about eight inches tall. Um he's unique. I like the red cape, I like the triple blades, I like the mask, I like the overall body sculpt, I like the blade spear. I mean he's nice, man. He's nice to add to your predator collection. He's he's kind of a classic looking predator, but with something new and something different going on, you know what I mean? All right, guys, so we'll go ahead and leave it at that. Tell me what you guys think of this Ahab Predator. Do you like them? Do you own them? Uh, do you collect Predator figures? Uh, am I enticing you guys by <laughs> by doing so many Predator reviews? And you're like, man, i got to pick up some Predator figures. 
uh, let me know if I'm helping you spend your own money. All right, guys, we'll leave it at that. If you like this little review, hit the like button, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell if you want to receive more cool, epic predator reviews like this. And we'll go ahead and leave it at that. I just want to thank you guys for watching, and I will catch you guys in the next review. Bye!